What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, we are a full-time RV travel nurse family. It is my wife, myself, our triplet 13 year olds, and our two big dogs. And if you caught last week's video, I shared with you the negative side of full-time RV living. The downside, the financial part, the problems you might have with health insurance, those kind of things. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the positive side, the benefits to living full-time and traveling in your RV. So let's roll. So let's just state the obvious. When you're traveling around, you got your house with you. How cool is that? It's one of the one things I absolutely love about this is having our house with us everywhere we go. All of our families that we go visit, all the places that we go, I always got my house with me. So it does not matter. I got my bathroom, I got my shower, I got my bed, I got my fridge, I got my everything. And I absolutely love that. Which brings up another benefit that absolutely is fantastic. When you go visit family or friends and you're going to their house, you're bringing your house with you. So now you have all your own stuff. You don't need to intrude into their house and have to use their showers, their bathrooms, their beds, their whatever, or find a place to sleep on the floor because you got your beds and everything with you. The RV life in general is not a quick way to save money. It can be very expensive living this lifestyle. So it all depends on your situation. It could be a benefit to you because you have a trailer and maybe you have family or friend that allows you to lay it, stay on their property or stay there for a very small fee so it doesn't cost you much to live there. That could be awesome and that would be a good benefit. Or maybe you have an RV park that you're staying at and it's very affordable. You know, we've seen some across the country as low as 350 bucks per month for everything, electric, water, and sewer. That is an awesome deal. The best place we have stayed at is $600 a month and it includes everything as well, sewer, water, and electricity, which I thought was a great deal. So there are things you can do to stay very cheap. And if that is working for you, that is an awesome benefit. Now for me personally, I love doing what we're doing and I love the traveling part. Now, if we were just stationary and this was it, Personally, I would not want to stay in an RV and this be my full-time home and not travel around. The way it works for me and what makes it so great is that we're able to take our house with us and travel around the country, go to all the cool different places that we've been, see all the cool things that we've seen, visit family and friends along the way. That is what is awesome. But personally, I would not want to have to live in here full-time and just be stationary and not move around. It, Cause it is small, it is crowded. And with the family, man, it's doable. And a lot of people do it. And if you have to, awesome, you do what works for you. But for me personally, I like to travel. I would let, I wanna be able to take my house with me. And that's what makes this work for us and my family. And lets me do the things that I wanna do. Like, Filming locations. That's right, if you didn't know, I like to go to filming locations and check out where movies have been filmed. I love lining up the shots and seeing what was and what is now. And for example, I've already been to these filming locations. Fry Green Tomatoes, Ernest Goes to Camp, there Smokey it is. and the Bandit, Back yeah. to the Future, some of the Stranger Things locations, and much, much more. Some of those videos are out right here, here, here. But I have so many yet that I still have to put together to share with you guys and my family and everyone else. And I'm working on it. But it does take time and when you have a lot going on and a family to take care of, it gets very busy. But filming locations I love going to in this lifestyle allows me to go check those out as we're cruising around, going through all the different states and stuff. On our way to our next contract or something, it allows me to pull in and go check these places out and go see where all these awesome movies are filmed. And it's not just filming locations that I like going to. We've been to some really cool spots in many different states. Did you know that the kids, the dogs, and myself all hiked up to the Hollywood sign? Actually behind it. You can actually cruise up to the Hollywood sign and walk behind it. Ah, oh, it was fantastic. Loved it. Great hike. Recommend it if you're in that area. Being a full-time RV and traveled around and taking our house with us has allowed us to do many other things too. Like when we have a contract, my kids have done gymnastics in Idaho. Taekwondo in South Dakota. We've cruised by and seen Johnny Cash's boyhood home in Arkansas. In Texas, we've been to the big Texan and Cadillac Ranch. New Mexico and Arizona, we've cruised down part of old Route 66, which I absolutely love. And I am planning a trip to do the whole entire thing from Chicago to Southern California and trying to find all the old original routes as best I possibly can. But that's in the future and that's also gonna be with a different rig 
not the fifth wheel. But more to come on that later. In Utah, we've checked out the Con Air airplane from the movie Con Air with Nicolas Cage and been to the Bonneville Salt Flats, camped out around there. Awesome place, definitely recommend it. We went to the top of the arch in Missouri. In Alabama, we stayed at Jackson Lake where they filmed the movie or part of the movie, The Big Fish. And that's where the town of Spectre is. But besides all the cool places that we've been, the RV lifestyle just allows you to enjoy a little bit of freedom. A little bit of just getting out there on the road and experiencing new things. You gotta remember, we only live once. So the benefits are gonna be different for everybody. Everybody's situation is different. For us, it benefits us because we're able to do all the things I mentioned. Plus, it's able to take us around the country so we can find our next house that we wanna buy or property. But if I was living in this because I had to, not because I wanted to, it would definitely not be a benefit. And depending on how what your situation is and how you perceive this type of lifestyle and how you handle this type of lifestyle, will determine if this is a benefit for you or not. If you're living in one of these because you have to, this probably isn't gonna be a benefit for you. It's because you have to. So you're not enjoying this, right? Now for me, we chose this. We sold our house and we chose to buy one of these to stay in for a couple years as we travel around and do the travel nurse thing and figure out where we wanna buy our next house or property. So it's a tool for me and it's been working great. So before you jump into this lifestyle, you need to make sure that you do your research and find out is this really what you wanna do? Now, if you have to, that's a completely different category and best of luck to you. But if you choose to, do your research because there's a lot involved with it and it's not all fun and games and traveling and picture perfect Instagram posts like a lot of people portray, but that's just what they're showing you the good side of. That doesn't mean that it, they don't have their downsides either because everybody does. So your attitude and how you choose to deal with this lifestyle will ultimately determine if this is a benefit or if this is a negative for you. So anyways, there are many other aspects to this and there's gonna be benefits to other people that aren't benefits to me and negatives to other people that are benefits to me. It's just, so everyone's different. I just wanted to give you guys a little snippet of some things that why I like it and how it's benefited me and my family. Now, with that being said, we are getting ready to go back out on the road and travel to our next contract and keep an eye out for our next house and property. Because at the end of the day, that's our end goal was to go experience the country and travel around and have an experience that most people don't get to have, but ultimately find our new house and property. And that's what we're doing right now. So I've been loving this lifestyle. My kids have been loving this lifestyle. Hey, baby, what, what's your favorite thing about living in an RV? Walking out the damn door and driving away. <laughs> uh, I think she just woke up right now, but... Uh, yeah, we'll get back to her a little bit later. All right, guys, so this is a short little video. I just wanted to show you, share with you some of the things as to why this benefits me and why it could maybe benefit you, but it may not because this lifestyle is definitely not for everybody. That is for sure. But as far as for me and my wife, ain't that right, baby? That's off. <laughs> she means yes. She absolutely loves this. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you later. Left the big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my wife. I was working on the ground come a sun up to sun down. Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving. Kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star